In this video, I'll teach you how to display a project summary task in each of your projects in Project for the Web. Did you know there's a feature in the Microsoft Project desktop application that is not yet available in Project for the Web? That feature is known as the Project Summary Task. And I'll show you how to overcome this limitation. So let's get started. In the Microsoft Project desktop application, there's a very important feature known as the Project Summary Task. Nicknamed Row 0 or Task 0, the Project Summary Task is the first task in the project. Its purpose is to summarize or roll up all of the information from the project into a single task row. In this project, you can see that the project summary task displays the duration of the entire project, its current specified start date, its current calculated finish date, plus the total amount of work and total amount of cost for the entire project. It is a very important feature of the Microsoft Project desktop application. On the other hand, in the Project for the Web application, there is no such thing as a Project Summary task. At least not yet, knowing that Microsoft is constantly developing new features for this tool. So I'd like to show you how to create an artificial Project Summary task. Here's how to do that. Float your mouse pointer over task number one. Then at the right end of the task name, click the More Options button, and on the Flyout menu, choose the item Insert Task above. Project for the Web will give you a new blank task row. Enter the name of your artificial project summary task in that task row. I like to use the name of the project plus the word summary, but you can use any name you want. When finished, press the Enter key. Project for the Web will select task number two. Leave that task selected. Then, on your computer keyboard, press and hold the Shift key and the Control key. Then, press the down arrow key. This will select every task in the project from task number two all the way to the end of the project. After doing this, float your mouse pointer over task number two. Once again, click the More Options button at the end of the task name, and then on the Flyout menu, choose the item Make Subtask. This will convert task number one into an artificial project summary task. Notice that task number one shows the duration of the entire project, it shows the current specified start date plus the current calculated finish date, and it shows the total amount of effort or work for the entire project. I think you will definitely want to create an artificial project summary task in each of the projects you create in the Project for the Web application. I hope you found this video to be helpful to you. Do know this, I'm going to be creating many more videos about the new Project for the Web application. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel and be sure to click the notification button so that you're notified whenever I upload new content to this channel. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.